let's just get to the story. Monkey Island? It's me, Guybrush. Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes. Tops. I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. Is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. I'll keep this for my Shakespeare summer stuff. stroke of luck. A free shovel to dig up the secret with. Oh! That's not LeChuck. Chuck is a greenish, shouty guy with a beard and a big hat. This clown won't know LeChuck's secrets, but I guess we could torture him anyway. Wait! I know plenty of LeChuck's secrets. Do you know LeChuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? Why on earth would you care about any of that? Ugh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on Melee. Don't stop with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. As part of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. He's here on the island. Ugh, oh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. We could ask his crew about all that stuff? We thought of that. But they are on the ship, and it's enchanted to be unboardable. Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. Well, not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship? Probably. I mean, definitely. Yes. Fine. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map, and we split the secret four ways. That's the only offer, and I won't make it again. In or out. I accept. No way! You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double-cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Double-cross them before they could double-cross me. Triple cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool. Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey ahead if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh, it's just a rancid skull. I'll keep this for the voodoo lady. Uh, remind me again when we get rid of Threepwood. You have the memory of a gnat with a concussion. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it, that's all. 
Once we find the secret, you can have him. Ha! They won't get the chance. As soon as the map is visible, I'm oh, Elaine loves days. I'll take these for Elaine. Hey, partner. Threepwood, I might have known you'd be wrapped up in this. It's just your kind of swamp. Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas. Bye, partner. It's faded over the years, but it still says private property. It's a sea salt encrusted skull. Breathtaking. It's a spooky skull. The rocks around here? Ugh, this really puts the wreck in shipwreck. My sympathies to the unlucky captain. It says the sea monkey. Hey, this is my old ship from Monkey Island 1. Wow, the sea monkey brought me adventure and fame. Oh, I feel like this is a good omen. Either that or this forgotten wreck of a ship discarded on the beach is highly symbolic. It's some driftwood that washed up on the beach. I can relate. This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. It's a soaked skull. This one doesn't open. So many, they've sealed it shut. Drowning down with just me thoughts. Hello again. Again? I don't know you. I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. Ooh, my mistake. See you later. No, wait. Hold, hold me joking. Hang about. Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it, it, it's poems, all right? Zombie pirate poems, but, but they're not finished. I've got some problems to work out with them still. Maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well... I am stuck in a few places. For instance, what rhymes with worms? Words. Oh yeah, that could work. All right then, I also need an idea for something that grows. Roses. I think that fits. How about a rhyme for black? Snack. Right, uh, of course, very nice. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but... I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up now. Hey. What do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? I suppose that'd be alright, seeing as how you contributed, in a small way. Let's uh, keep it between us for now, though. Don't go showing these around. I wouldn't dream of it. You! Uh, hi. You're not welcome on this ship, Threepwood. Uh. 
Partner. Want to read some of Gullet's poetry? Ugh, I'd rather swallow a bucket of live bees. But thanks. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Yeah, I ran into some trouble boarding the ship. Is it the enchantment keeping you off? Good news! We get to kill him after all. No, that's not it. I lost my eye patch disguise, so the crew knows it's me, and they won't let me back on. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell that can do that. I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from the others. Oh, I already found a secret thing from one of the crew. Gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? Twisting worms and twisting words. I can see why someone would want to keep this a secret. It's drivel. It's perfect! Qui doloram ipsum, qui dolor sitamet. Ooh! Shhh! Nisi uta liquid vexia comedo consequat. Exceptor sin doke cat, cubidetat non proident. Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic! Thanks! Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, will do. Bye, partner. This can't be right. Isn't that a mop tree? I didn't realize you were on a mop quest. Not since my college days. And then I was just experimenting. That's not important right now. Someone messed up, and I think... I know who. Threepwood, not so sneaky without your magic disguise, are you? Twisting worms and twisting words. Ideas fill my head. The poems flow as roses grow, creatively undead. Permission to come aboard? Go it. I thought we'd lost you. I'm still feeling the sting of your knife. I got the knife back, so you let me know if the feeling fades. Your voice sounds funny. Uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> still a few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I finally finished the piece I was working on, and I want to block out ten minutes for celebrating on a beach where none of you can find me. I promise I'll give it my utmost attention. I won't let you down. What? Nothing. You just seem different. Don't let anybody on board or I'll stab you again. <laughs> hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. You smell cleaner than usual. Thanks. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? I'm uh, trying to be more like him. Well, then you should change your catchphrase every few minutes. I have no idea how he keeps track. Does LeChuck have a theme song? I'm planning a surprise. Surprising LeChuck doesn't sound like a good idea, but he did say something recently about having a theme composed. I don't know if it was ever finished. 
See ya. It's the Chuck's personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. They boarded it shut. It's sheet music. A jaunty little tune like this would be great at parties. Go, lad, you tough old slab of crocodile meat. Somehow I knew you'd make it back. Can I fix you something to eat? Well, I'll have whatever LeChuck's having. LeChuck's on the island, looking for the big secret. You cook for LeChuck. Does he have a favorite dish? Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yeah. Don't blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Almost. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, a classic. Thanks, chef. You're welcome. Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? I can and I would, but I'm all out of daisies. Could you make tentacles with daisy sauce with these? Nice. They look organic. Have it for you in a jiff. Appetite. That's it? Sometimes simple is best. Promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat 
Nulla tempor. Labor es nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say Lechuk's catchphrase. Brandish? The seven? Vilges. Quis atem vel veleptate velit. Now, eat Lechuk's favorite food. Oof. Okay. Oh. Wow! Look! There are lines on it! It's working! This dark magic stuff gets kind of intense. Anybody see where the map got to? Not your concern. Thanks for your help. Time to go! Wait! Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? What happened to our deal? Don't pretend you didn't intend to double-cross us and steal the map the first chance you got. You don't know that for sure. It's in your to-do list. No. Oh. And now good riddance to Murray, the annoying demonic skull. Wait, I have a family. Good. Trent, let's have a look at the map again. Odd. It was just in my pocket. Never mind. I remember what was on it. Let's go get the secret. It came from over here somewhere. What the? Threepwood? So, you survived walking the plank only to stumble off a cliff. I always knew you were a buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that, but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck, it's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> oh, this hurts. Oh, I think it hurts more than that time with the cannon in the tent pole. Hello? Is someone here? Guybrush! Oh no! Are you okay? It only hurts when I breathe. Still, best to keep that up, I think. If I have to. What are you doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here. It's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. You've fallen off a cliff. The last few months have been a waste. I shouldn't have come to Monkey Island. I shouldn't have even come to Melee Island. I should have given up after stupid Madison and her friends laughed at me. Or when my only option was to sail with LeChuck. Or when his crew all told me why they thought going after the secret was a bad idea. Why can't I see the signs? What did I think I was doing? You were just being you. Might as well just lie here and starve to death. I've got a better idea. Come back with me to Scurvy Island. 
I'll take a break from the scurvy project to nurse you back to health. What difference does it make? Well, it makes a difference to me, if nothing else. Come on, let's go. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. Did somebody say that? Hello? Murray! Is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Holy cow! The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island! Change of plan, Elaine. We're going back to Melee. We are? What about all the things you just said? I must have hit my head. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship. Your old ship, I mean. The sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. I know, I saw it. I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. What a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? Fantastic. Thank you. Race you to the ship! Come on, Murray. You've got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump. Maybe. Wait, not the pocket. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. Like it was written, just... Slowpoke. You had a head start. Well, we did what we could with the materials at hand. Oh, I love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage! I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. 